next lessons. And uh, we are praying that Brother Philip will be able to teach the, the last lesson in this series, lesson number six. And so I am really praying hard uh, that Brother Philip will be able to teach lesson number six. Okay, this is the first lesson in the series, season to celebrate. And the first lesson is season to give thanks, which we have started last Sunday. Season to give thanks. And uh, uh, the opening paragraph of our outline says, let us read together. We are going to be blessed. The opening paragraph, you do not have a copy, raise your hands. Somebody will give you a copy. Okay, let us read together. The opening paragraph, ready, read. Why is giving thanks so important? Because only God deserves our highest gratitude and praises. God wants us to hear our every request. He wants us to remember that no matter what our requests are, He has been very good to us. The heart that blesses God through good times and bad times is the heart that understands what it means to be thankful. How then could we not be thankful? Good question. Knowing that God is good, very good to us, we have no reason not to be grateful, not to be thankful. Okay, the goals are, the goals are number one, understand that thanksgiving is not an option but a commandment from God. It is not an option but a commandment from God. Because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. To be thankful to Him always, okay? Number two, realize that thanksgiving flows from the heart that understands. It flows from the heart that understands what God has done for us. Beginning with redeeming us from our sin. Not only a good understanding, but a full understanding of what is the meaning of that redemption. And it is coming from a heart that understands. It flows from the heart that understands the redeeming power of God. And number three, commit to spending more time. Commit to spending more time in worship and praise to God for His goodness to us. Okay? So, I would like to uh, make a review that the word thank, thanks, thanksgiving, thankful, thanking, and uh, the like appear 59 times in the Old Testament and 49 times. Uh, times in the New Testament for a total appearances of 108 times. So these words related to thank, thanksgiving appear 109 times in the entire Bible. Three points in this lesson this morning. We have taken up a portion already last Sunday. First, giving thanks reflects our heart for God. It reflects our heart. Then second, giving thanks, giving thanks respects the ways of God. Respects. We embrace. We accept. No? It gives us comfort. So, uh, giving thanks respects the ways of God. And giving thanks, number three, responds to the love of God. So how do we respond to the love of God? By giving thanks. One of the ways is by giving thanks. Okay? So, we are now in point number two. Giving thanks respects the ways of God. It respects the ways of God. That is why we have to embrace His ways. We have to accept His ways. We have to acknowledge His ways. And we have to honor His ways. There are so many people who do not do this, who do not accept, who do not admit. But the Bible says, For as high as the heavens uh, are above the earth, so are, are His thoughts above our thoughts. 
His ways above our ways. That is why we have to respect, we have to uh, admit, we have to uh, embrace, we have to accept, we have to acknowledge because uh, we are comforted with these things and we have to honor. Going, uh, we have, it really respect the ways of God because He is our sovereign letter A and letter B this morning, let us begin, He is our creator. We have to respect uh, our thanksgiving respects His ways because He is not only a sovereign, our sovereign, but He is our creator. Back to our text. Back to our text. In Psalm 100 and in verse number 3. Psalm 100 verse number 3. It says, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. Mayong nga masayod ikaw, nga ang Diyos, siya ang Diyos. Si Jehovah, eh, capital, all capitalized. You notice in our Bible? All capitalized. Referring to God the Father, Jehovah God. Okay? He is God. It is He that hath made us. Okay. It is Jehovah God that hath made us. All capitalized, L-O-R-D. But in John chapter 1, verse number 1 to 3, it is the Lord Jesus Christ who is the creator of everything. That is why Jesus Christ says, I and my Father are one. In John chapter 14, verse number, verse number 6, I am, uh, no, John chapter 10, verse number, I think 30, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I, they follow me, okay? So, the statement, it is He that hath made us and not we ourselves, remind us to be what? To be humble and to be thankful always. He being our creator. Okay? So, Brother Jun, that statement that it is He that hath made us and not ourselves reminds us to be Humble always. Dili kita, siya. Humble always and thankful always to Him. He being our creator. So, remember the potter and the clay. That is, that is our, uh, that is how we are pictured uh, as being like that. We are the clay. God is our potter. So, He is our sovereign being the potter. What I say, Ana. Okay? Nganong lapad atong ilong? Nganong uban taas? What I say? Si ay pater. Nganong siya puti? Nganong kita dili? Nganong siya taas ka? Ako mubo. Okay? Uh, siya guwapo lagi, Lord. Ako dili. You are the pater, Lord. I accept. I am only a clay. Amen? May magani nga atong pagka-clay. Ginhawaan ta. And we have the breath of life. Huwag pa ta ginahe mag... Ginawain, magbabilin na itang kli, oy, niya magreklamo ta sa itong ilong. Sagdi na lang ng ilong, oy. Sagdi na lang ng height. He is the potter, we are the clay. So when we give thanks to God, we show our respect for our Creator and His plan for our lives. People who, who think that they are, hmm? there are people who think that they are self-made. I hear of a lot of uh, commendations coming from great people commending somebody that this man is a self-made man. Okay? Have you heard of that? And uh, people love to be heard with such commendation from great people also that he is a self-made man. Wow! Nirecognize that is lang ako self-made. Tungod kay naning kamot ko, I really strive. Let's find out if that is a good principle to adopt or to accept or to stand upon. People who think that they are self-made, that is the blank, can never be truly thankful to God. Why? Because they put more credit to self as the key person to their successes and achievements. You agree with that one? You don't you? Yeah. Yes. Ako mo ay key person ining akong achievement o gining akong accomplishment. While I lain ako. Murag nindot paminaon pero sayup na siya nga principal. 
Remember, you are a clay and he is the potter. Kanus ago ka, ka clay nga muingon kaniana. Okay? So, how can a clay be a self-made clay? He can never be a a colon or a banga or a jar or a tajaw if it were not for the potter. So a clay can never be a self-made clay because somebody, the potter, was forming the shape for the clay to become as such. So also are we. Okay? Of course, it is never wrong to strive hard in this life. It is never wrong to strive hard in this life. But when one starts to harvest the fruits of his labor and starts to credit himself for his achievements, to credit himself for his successes, and accept the commendation of others concerning himself that he is a self-made man, and that is wrong. Sayop na na siya. And matintal rabagid na mintaw. Yes, I agree with his statement. I am a self-made man. Dili oy. In the first place, that guy could not have labored had God not given him strength. If his successes and achievements were were byproduct of his labor, he can never be proud of that because in the first place, he could not have labored if God had not given him strength. Unsa on good pagka kanang lump of clay nga malkalung agadiha og wa panahimo ang akon ya og kanang paghuman og goon giuven tawo na siya oy para para maligon para makusgan so og wa pa iuven sa mga pagsulay og sa mga kalisdanan ining kinabuhi ang muligon ka ta ah usa ra kalungag ang kon pak Di na mausbang, kaya naliki man. Kaya huwag man ma-oven. Huwag man mabutang sa hornohan, huwag man mugahi. So what good? That is why Christ said in John chapter 15, verse number 5, For without me, ye can do nothing. And many people would stand up and say, Di ko mo agree ni mo na, Lord. Di ko mo agree ni mo na, I can do without you. What the, Lord Christ, what the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the God of eternity, is, you can never do anything that has something to do with eternity if, without me. All the things that you can do here on earth will perish with the earth. Because this earth is going to be judged. Mamilted ni siya, matunaw ni siya. And uh, Brother Seba is good at electronics also. I studied this antimatter. Antimatter. A very small gram of antimatter or a one gram of antimatter would cost trillions of dollars already. I said, Whoa, what is this antimatter? And I as, as I studied, I relate to Peter saying that this earth is going to be melted. Who will melt that one? God. And people are now trying to understand what is this antimatter. I believe this antimatter has something to do with the melting of this earth. Hmm? So, you can do nothing. I can do, sir. I can do, but your the, the outputs of your uh, of the works of your works would only be limited here. It has nothing to do with eternity. Without me, you can do nothing. And Paul said also, he said. In uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Doon ay boxer nga ang iyang robe. Philippians 4, 13, masiguro ni 4, 13, dire. I do not know who that boxer was. Huh? You still remember? <laughs> he be with, dire. I can do. <laughs> Philippians 4, 13, Appeal the ang kontra <laughs> I, 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 But some of you might have remembered that boxer. Huh? Holy fields. Holy fields. Holy fields. I can do all things through Christ who is strengthened me. Appeal the ang kontra. <laughs> Giclaim niya nga na verse. Lalim ka sa boxing lang ganina ay magclaim. Magkadaog pa. Huh? 
how much more kita. So, God wants us to know where we come from, where we came from, so that we can correctly direct our thanks and praise to Him rather than to ourselves. And Solomon in his wisdom has something to say in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse number 1. Here is Solomon, very wise man. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse number 1, he said, Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Why is this verse, why is this thought very important to every one of us? Because we have to remember the Creator. Usually when we are, we are, very, when we are in the peak of health, when we are in the peak of our productivity in our business, Chances are, maka, makalimot magutas sa ginoo. Kay malingaw magutag maayo. Tanawar ako ng bata. Ako yung namat muna ng bata. Sa wag na siya lilingaw. Kusog kayong muparaig sa inahan, di ba? Wag siya lingaw. Tagaig doon. Di na ginamagmain sa iyang inahan. Di na nagmagmain. Usay kita, di na tamagmain sa source at itong ginoo. Sa dihang putin na tang liwang lingawa sa tong kinabuhi, kanu sa mala may tabo, kanang puti pata nga healthy, batanon pata kayo, guwapo pata kayo, wapa ikunot atong ilo, atong nao, puti patang panginabuhi, daghan pa kita income, lingaw ka ita, ningo sulmon, kinumdumi siya, unya na kamay numdum ka nang wak nagi kay lami, wak na kay gana, nindot ka yung safari dito. Pero og arthritis ay atry do na kay arthritis kay guwang na ka di ka ma-enjoy. <laughs> di ka ma-enjoy. Wa na koy gana ana. Lami kayong lami kayong lechon, lami kayo ang ice cream pero kun do na kay diabetes di na ka ma-enjoy ana. Kay maglikay na ka, kay mahadlok ka, ma heart attack. When your sugar is very high, chances are is that mo kram imong heart then maka-experience ka heart attack. So, remember, sa diha nga productive pata kayo, healthy pata kayo, batan on pata. Remember, now thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not pa, wa pa, kay muabot ang panahon, nga may ka, wana ko'y gusto anak, wana ko'y gana anak, wana ko'y gana anak. Nga kanos amang kamay nundum sa ginoo, ningo ginoo, kaktong productive pata kayo, adto ko dito hinumdumi. Kaya ganit ka na ron, nga wak na kayo gusto, napugos na lang ka na ako, pansin ako, kaya wak na kayo, wak na kayo gana ana. Tadong lingaw pa ka kaysa imong duwaan, tanawa ang source sa duwaan. Giving thanks to God respects the ways of God because He is our sovereign letter A, because He is our creator letter B, And let her say, because He is our Redeemer. Because He is our Redeemer. Okay? God did not just make you and me and then leave us in the world to do life on our own. That is not the case. Gikreita o niya, gipasagdan lang ta. That is not the case. In our text, In Psalm number 100, in verse number 3, we are His people. The blank there is people. We are His people. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that made us and not we ourselves. We are His people. We are the sheep of His pasture. Not only that we are God's people, He is providing us pasture. Sometimes, ang nakafocus maguda sa mga butang associated sa tung lawas. Kaya kani mga tung lawas mo ipinaka close na to. Ang tung lawas mo ipinaka close ginato ba? Ano man? Mao may una na tung makita. Mao im una ng sakitan. Mao na ang mao pud ang una ng mo enjoy og aircon. Kanimang lawasa, 
mo, mo, mo appreciate og lami kayo nga likso, litson nga init kani mang lawasa siya kani atong lawas that is why ang pasture nga gisgutan diri always atong una-una pagkaon nindot nga sinina nindot nga pamisti tanan nga conveniences ining ginabuhi ah. pero kanang pasture diha dili na limited sa mga materials nga butang kanang pasture diha convenience kalipay nga dili ma-define sa mga kalipay nga gidulot sa mga material nga mga butang that was why when Paul and Silas was there, ang ilang tiil na kastak na, niya, baho kayo ang palibot, nagganta sila, tungod kay giprobayran sila sa ginoong pasture, dili physical. Dili physical. It is an atmosphere, a spiritual atmosphere na perti nilang lipaya in spite of. Mauna siya di ang pasture, dili lang kay limited. Ah, may mga kabrad, may mga kabrad, may mga kabrad. Ang kita na rin, physical aspect, kadaghan, kadaghan sa atong mga kauban, nga may siya, ni claim you go, Anna, to be contented, whatever I have. Mauna sila yung mga malipayon. Pero ka nang daghan na kayo, unya, wag yung gapong ka makontinto sa iyong kinabuhi, wag yung magmalipayon. Doon ay friend ng ako ang wife, Nga naman yung gaganahan, magyug ka nga mo, musod kuan, kay gusto man kung mapalit yun og nindot nga sinina. Every time, palit og nindot nga sinina. Every time, palit og nindot og si, nga sinina. Kay dili, kus, dili ka, dili mahusto ang sweldo. Ma, mapugos. Og pangita, og mga pamaagi, aron madungagan ang yang income. Ah, naadiha. Masuspended na ka. So, hi man. Nalipayon? Wala, malipayon. Eh. So, position, material positions is never a guarantee that one is happy in life. It is never a guarantee. But look at Paul and Silas. They were singing, they were joyful, and God honored what was the condition of their heart. Giuyog sa gino, giablihan ang mga purtahan, brad. O naluas ang jail warden O diyan ang gabi yun na, nababtize ang jail warden. So, we are, He has provided us His pasture, and you see how privileged we are. Not only that God claimed us as His people, He is providing us pasture also. And uh, we are so privileged because we were rescued from the power of darkness and has brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son. Open with me in Colossians 1.13. Colossians 1.13 says, Colossians 1.13, it says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us. Do you know what is translated us? LBC, Quarta Padala, safe kaya bang pagpadala ba? Safe kaya nga itong pagpadala. From the power of darkness to the kingdom of His dear Son, there is a safe passage. There was safety there. Mauna diha translated us. And has translated us. Has brought us safe. Has translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son. Pribiliyo kita. The devil was once our father. Hmm. The devil was once our father, but now he is no longer our father. Why? Because we are saved. But before we got saved, he was our father. How do you know that? And why are you telling that to us? Because John 8.44 says, you can find it in John 8 verse number 44. What does John 8 verse 44 say? The Lord Jesus Christ is speaking. He said, to his detractors, to his despisers, to those who rejected him, to those who did not believe on him, to those who were opposed at him, to those who were against him, this is what he said. You are of your father the devil. You are of your father the devil. And the last of your father ye will do. 
before we got saved, in our sinfulness, in our sinful nature, our father was the devil. But praise God for His grace and mercy. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His what? Mercy. For by what are you saved? For by grace are you saved. For by faith are you saved through, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Lest any man should boast. So Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse, and has made us partakers of the inheritance as joint heirs with Christ. Kada kung pribiliyo na to ani, give lukat ta, gikan sa gahom sa kaway sa kangit ngit, gilukat niya. Ang ibayad sa paglukat, iyan dugo. Unya, gipa-inherit. Unya, dili ordinaryo nga uh, heir. Joint heir pag yun ni Christ. Gilukat, gi-inherit. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, Galatians 3, verse 13, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. The curse of the law is for the wages of sin is death. That is the curse of the law. That is the law. What is the curse there? Death is the curse. For the wages of sin is death. We are all sinners, man. So, the curse that the law so pronounced against us is death. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. So, in order that we be freed from the curse of the law, He was made curse for us. Siya mo ay gitong law. Because it is written, cursed is everyone that hung it on a tree. Meaning, hung it on a tree is a picture of crucifixion. And it is written, that if you are bringing curse to the nation of Israel, you are going to die a very horrible death. And you are going to hang up there on the tree with your spread hands and nailed to a bar, to the cross, because you are cursed. And why would Christ be, be, uh, be uh, subjected to such a very... Uh, a very uh, hey, because we are cursed. Tinong lota. And to free us from that predicament, siya na lang. He was made cursed. For it is written, everyone that hung it on a tree is cursed. Verse uh, uh, Ephesians 3.6, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of His promise in Christ by the gospel. Pribilihiyo kayo ta. Romans 8.17 Romans 8.17 And if children, then heirs. Why? And if children, because previously, Romans 8.16 The Spirit itself bear it witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, verse 17, then heirs, manununod. Manununod sa Dios, heirs of God. See how privileged. If one is a son or a daughter of a well-known, a very wealthy man, and he is not saved, layo ra siya kayo na ito, nga bisag pubrita, nga saved ta kay heirs of God, man na, manununod ng Diyos. Bisan pagpila ka aeroplano, ilang masunod, sa ilang kinabuhi, kaya ang ilang amahan, tagiyag airline, kung wa maluas sila, mayin tag maluas, no? Kung wa sila maluas, alaot yapon. Bulahan kita kayo. Kay, we are heirs of God, verse 17 of Romans 8, and joint heirs with Christ. Paunsa pagodoy nga ma-joint heirs manta with Christ. Kanang usa ka sinagop. Kung ang iyang masunod sama sa legitimate ng mga anak, mahimo siyang joint heirs with the legitimate children, di ka na siya magpasalamat. Magpasalamat na siya, ay, gawas og 
ungrateful na siya. Pero magpasalamat siya. Nga equal ang iyang share sa legitimate ng mga anak. Tanawa, o giyon sa tapag treat sa atong langit noon nga mahan. Joint heirs with Christ. Naka-joint heirs pag ita sa nagluwas na to, nag-redeem na to. So, giving thanks reflects our heart to God. Number two, giving thanks respects the ways of God. Number three, giving thanks responds to the love of God. In verse number one hundred, uh, verse four, our text is Psalm one hundred. In verse number four, enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. You see, what attitude are we to have when we enter? When we enter the gate. And when we enter the court, the auditorium, what attitude? Mungon bakang lausi hadiri ay wire con or kahugaw sa dini 